stark differences between Black Friday this year and other years. Welcome back to Quick Take Charge. I'm Tim Stenovic in New York. Black Friday hit record numbers with consumers, spending roughly $9 billion. But as we all know, Cyber Monday is set to be a major hit, especially in 2020. Joining me now to look at the latest numbers is Adobe's Senior Digital Insights Manager, Vivek Pandia, live from San Francisco. Vivek, it's great to have you back on the show. Um, Adobe expected Cyber Monday 2020 to become the largest online sales day in history. What are you seeing in the early data? Are, we, are you on track with that estimate thus far? We are, and it's it's been very interesting to see how the early seasonal days have been surging. Uh, but the major days, the Black Fridays, the Cyber Mondays, and the larger Thanksgiving week continue to show a lot more momentum, about three to four times the momentum of an average holiday. So they continue to be very strong days. And as we come in into the range, about $10, $10 billion, $12 billion, that range is is very significant. So we're looking forward to that in Cyber Monday. What about when it comes to this, this push of shopping local that we've been hearing so much about? There's been that push. Consumers spent a record $4.7 billion online on, on small business Saturday. That represents an increase of more than 30% year over year. Is this move to shop local something that will last? Because it does seem like the big guys keep getting bigger and it could be tough to compete with them. It's been interesting to see consumers speak to their deliberate desire to shop local. And it was very interesting to see that momentum happen on Small Business Saturday, where we saw about four times the growth that a small smaller retailer typically sees on an average day. And so that, that was very heartening to see that support come through on Small Business Saturday. We've also seen a decent amount of support to smaller retailers throughout Thanksgiving week. And we, we can expect to continue that to a lot of small retailers. But the larger retailers, as you can imagine, have a lot of investment and a lot of volume that they're taking in. So, but there's just a lot of demand and opportunity, opportunity here for smaller and larger retailers to take in the demand that they're getting from consumers. What are you seeing consumers buy this year that perhaps is, is different than what they were spending their money on in previous years? We, we heard so much about the experiences economy and that has pretty much been shot when it comes to uh, COVID and the pandemic. So what are consumers spending their money on in 2020? I would say that it's really a lot of devices that can keep people connected and, and really keep people occupied as they're in quarantine and lockdown and these types of things. So we've seen video games, consoles, board games even, uh, really surge connected devices, smart speakers, things that keep people really engaged and active at home have sold really well, especially this year. When it comes to shipping, we've heard a lot about uh, the toll that this will take on the biggest shipping companies in the U.S. And, and the way that these companies and retailers have had to adapt. Um, what are you learning about in terms of when consumers will need to place their orders in order to get things by the holidays? So we think that the, the retailers are, are definitely going to be driving this sort of early purchasing from consumers. They've been doing a lot of that this season. And many of them have variable shipping dates uh, they, where they want to get people to pr purchase before December 10th um, and even much earlier if possible for some retailers. But they're, they're also really driving home click and collect and, mm. and buy online, pick up in store because that will allow some of that uncertainty around delivery issues to be mitigated as consumers buy early and then pick up at their convenience. Given that we've seen the pandemic just ravage the United States and the U.S. economy, and as Jarrell, our previous guest and my colleague, was talking about the way that it has affected so many Americans and their livelihoods, are you at all surprised to see the, the massive spending this holiday season? I think there are a, a, co a combination of factors that kind of drive the online spend because, yes, it is a factor of consumers really driving a holiday season and, and that holiday spending as they've done in previous years and trying to have a good holiday season. But there's also this migratory spending that's returning from the offline space back into online like we saw earlier this year. So it becomes a combination of just that spend share shifting and then also consumers still trying to make sure that they can have a decent holiday season as they as we look towards the end of the year. It does seem like with the, with the rise of shopping holidays like Amazon Prime traditionally happening over the summer and then of course Alibaba Singles Day which is increasingly a, a global event that that Cyber Monday perhaps doesn't is losing a, a little bit of relevance because people it's like every day is Cyber Monday. Is that something that you're seeing at Adobe? 
Not particularly in the sense that, especially as we look at the growth that these major days have had, and what we're hearing from consumers is that they do believe some of the best discounts are on the Cyber Monday and the Black Friday. They're very well aware that there are discounts happening um, on other days and others are being promoted. But I think they have that pretty strong sense that they're going to get the best pricing on a day like Cyber Monday. So they'll take advantage of that and then be, be conscientious and keep looking out for deals as the season wears on. Adobe Senior Digital Insights Manager Vivek Pandia, live from San Francisco. Thanks so much for joining us on Quick Take this morning. We appreciate it. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.